Hi there. Welcome to Well Played. Today, we are going to be playing Box of Cats by Kevin Harville and New Eras Media. As a parental warning, these videos may contain some language and themes that are not suitable for young viewers. So if you are a young gamer or you have young gamers at home, please watch the video first and make sure that all of the content is suitable. Now, without further ado, let's go to my table and see Box of Cats Well Played. Well, hello there, and welcome to Well Played. Uh, today we are going to be playing a game called Box of Cats. It is a uh, pretty fun little, uh, I guess, how, how would I call this, uh, a make your case game. It's, it's inevitably what every game of uh, apples to apples yeah. becomes, where it's like, well, if you think about it like this. <laughs> so uh, what we are going to do is we are going to have somebody as a situation reader, they're going to tell us what situation we are in, and then we will play a number of these item cards that are things that we would take with us in the situation. So we're each getting three cards here, and I will start us off as the situation right here. So the situation is a colony ship. We are selected to colonize a new world ten years journey from Earth. So we're going to be on a spaceship for 10 years, and we are going to a new Earth. Well, I'll tell you first things first, what we need, uh, some sunscreen, because there's no atmosphere to protect you from sunburn up there. Okay. Well, what we also we need on a colony ship is some ammunition. We have to, you know, protect ourselves just in case we see some creepy alien life yeah. forms. In case they start acting up. Mm -hmm. We also need a toolkit. That's you... <laughs> and I can't fit because there was no space. That just means you don't play. <laughs> <laughs> because, I mean, if anything breaks, we're screwed. And you can't fix anything without tools. I mean, I know you guys are super serious and all, but we don't want morale to go down. And since, you know, the farther you get away from Earth, you obviously can't get closer we should to the probably sun because we burn up. Ship. <laughs> so we have to go farther away from the sun, so we're going to need some snow seeds. we got to have fun. In so case we wind up on Hoth. If we wind up on, on Hoth, I'm killing myself. Well, we're going to be going farther away from the sun, so we can go closer. Here, I thought we were going to Pluto. Yeah. You and the rest of the voice contestants. That's why they took all the paint. <laughs> yeah. So we have uh, sunscreen, ammunition, toolkit, and snow seeds. So now I have the option to play another card or not. You know, I will be honest, I think more effective than ammunition, dynamite. Ammunition by itself is okay, but we also need guns. We have, we don't we haven't brought guns. Dynamite you never know. Dynamite <laughs> it is an extensive set of tools. Dynamite probably <laughs> it, it probably has a lighter in there, which just means shh love dynamite. Yeah, but Your the case for ammunition. Dynamite has more of a risk of harming ourselves more so than <laughs> <Lord. damage laughs> than ammunition. Ammunition could give us protection against you know, pretty much everything and insurrections. At the same time, though, remember War of the Worlds? Guns did nothing. We could make disease bombs. Just fill them with sneezes. Okay, if War of the Worlds happens on the ship, we're screwed anyway. <laughs> because that means they pour holes into the ship, and then that means the space came into the ship and killed us all. Okay. Because I mean, that means oxygen leaked. Even with the ammunition, if you shoot in the ship, you could puncture the ship and then we all die. Well, it depends what it's made from, because if it's like the one in Alien, then gun bullets wouldn't actually puncture it. It's if this might be a low-budget project, this is America. <laughs> our, our spaceship is made of cardboard. So... So, thumbs up for new one, thumbs down for old one. Ready? Three, two, one. Well, that's an even split. So it comes to the situation reader at that point. <laughs> no, I thought it went to the old one stays on a tie. I don't remember. I believe I it remember. was the situation reader breaks ties for that situation. Um, yeah, the uh, the rules cards do make light of themselves, which is kind of nice. Like, did you just give us a snotty answer as part of their FAQs? Um, 
There's failing to attempt to her. Okay, the acting player briefly explains why their replacement card is better. Uh, they have a chance to defend the original. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Ties go to the original item. Yes, you are correct. I tried. Alright, so my turn? Yep. So, as much as we're going to need the sunscreen, you know, we need space. Uh, but the, 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 the ship really can't go anywhere without fuel. God damn it. I'm not even going to argue that one. I'm going to go <laughs> thumbs up. <laughs> That's four thumbs up. <laughs> Rolls are going to be in space. You don't actually need sunscreen in space. Barrels of fuel, much more important. Especially because now we have explosives in case the aliens act up. <laughs> just go jaws on them, just because smile. Now we son. have dynamite. Yeah. Essentially. Yeah. <laughs> he was, he was planning, and that's why I didn't want to put want to put dynamite on there. Yep. <laughs> I'm, You're passing? Yep. Yeah, I'm good. Pass? Um, I don't think I really have... Well, you know what? Sure, why not? Instead of snow skis, as much as I love you, I'm sorry, but what if we get to the planet and we ask the aliens where is the best place to set up a camp? And they're like, oh, it's over there by the volcano. We need some truth serum to make sure that they're actually telling us the legit answers where we need to be. I think you guys need to learn how to have some fucking fun. <laughs> You guys are way too concerned, and way too caught up, and then the aliens aren't even going to like us, because we're a bunch of uptight bitches. I've seen Have you met any? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Have you not seen our history? <laughs> we're always been uptight. It's, Look what happened to the Native It's America areas. all over again. <laughs> Where, where's the corn? We're supposed to leave to do better. <laughs> and that's why Star Trek will never happen. This is why America fails as a country. <laughs> we left Britain to start a new world and implemented all of the same terrible laws we tried to escape. Uh -huh. Only we're in control. So now we're gonna do it on another planet. <laughs> thumbs up for the old, for the new one. Thumbs down for the old one. Uh, I'm just the one true serum. But I'm just saying, oh, haven't you met me? You know I'm neurotic. <laughs> okay, so I'm out of cards. Do you want to play one more? I'm good. Okay. So, uh, those were yours, and each of those go back to you, that gets discarded, it's and no everybody fun. draws back up to three. Alright, and you are the situation reader, sir. Our situation is a nuclear aftermath. We are the last known survivors of a nuclear war. So we just suck at living. Because we're having to leave. Uh, well, that's why we're we leave. Leave. <laughs> It's because we were uptight bitches on this planet. It's actually a new planet that we're going to do the aftermath of. So we now have to find another, another we just, planet. We knew when we landed with the colony ship. We were, someone pushed the red... Fred, why the fuck did you push the red button? Um, <laughs> oops. Alright, so... So what's the first thing we need there on the... We, we nuked the alien nuclear <laughs> aftermath. <laughs> Punch it, jackass. <laughs> what we need in nuclear aftermath is motorcycles. How else are we supposed to get around the wasteland? It's now become Road Warrior. <laughs> exactly! <laughs> we got motorcycles. To go with those motorcycles. Helicopters. <laughs> so you can ride your motorcycles out of helicopters and do sweet yep. jumps. They're the Mad Max helicopters. Too fast, too furious. Well, since now we have nuclear modified aliens, we don't even know if they actually die from nuclear activity. They could just become more enhanced. We're gonna need some laser guns. It seriously is like you know what else we need? <laughs> nuclear bombs. <laughs> In case we need to start over again. <laughs> it's like you know what? I don't like this Mad Max setting. I'm gonna nuke it again. See what we get. It goes back to normal. It's like remixing a remix. I'm sorry, I'm not saying anything else after because this is the perfect man. Yeah, <laughs> I'm done. Pass, pass. We've, we've just made Mad Max. Personally, I'll be honest, personally, I think more than helicopters, we need androids. Because that, that, then you've got... Now we've got now we're going part, on over here. Yeah, we're now we're part robots in a nuclear aftermath with laser guns and motorcycles. I am for this. But then we'd all die. 
Because then it would be Terminator. You, you just don't want helicopters because you're afraid of heights. We can do yeah. that. You're yeah, just trying to chicken out. No, but, but I would we, much I'd rather, rather be an android. I, it is already nuclear aftermath. I'm probably going to die anyways. I want to ride some motorcycles. But what happens a when you like lose an arm in an explosion? <laughs> you need to have And I don't want Terminators parts. because Terminators kill all of us. <laughs> okay. Thumbs up for new one. Thumbs down for old one. One, two, three. You guys suck. I was like, this is the perfect Mad Max movie right here. <laughs> Alright, so I guess I'm going to pass because that, well, nah, I'll hold on to that. Might be useful later. Alright, so you drop to three, you drop to three, you, and then me. Our situation is a spy mission. We are sent on a secret spy mission destination unknown. Well, since we are going on a spy mission, fairy dust. Does it mean you yeah. can do everything with fairy dust? He can fly, he can fly, he can fly! Not only that, I mean, you're magical. If you're going to be a spy, magic makes it... You don't have to worry about the whole Tom Cruise thing where no. you like fall from the ceiling and are like an inch above the floor because you have fairy dust. You just, just become magical. You become a magical spy. I mean, spies are also innovative, so we're gonna need a rubber chicken. We can use that for pretty much anything. You can strangle someone out with it, you can entertain small children, like... Strangle the someone <laughs> out! <laughs> the possibilities are endless! <laughs> a rubber chicken garage wire? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's rubber, it stretches! Yep. Uh, I just love <laughs> the idea of a rubber chicken garage You need wire. a tourniquet? There you go! <laughs> uh, we also, you know, we need a 3D printer. Not necessarily for the mission, just because I want a 3D printer. I mean, it's kind of what M, it's what Q would use. Yeah. Why do I need? Why do I need to have them manufacture a lighter that's also a trigger for an explosive device when I can just 3D print one? Why do I need to modify a Zippo? I'll just print my own. I can see that. You know, and just in case we ever get captured, we're going to need cyanide pills. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> I don't think anyone will argue that with you. I'm fine. Yeah. Alright, again though, instead of fairy dust, to me, what I would rather have, genie lamp. Because fairy dust is one thing where it makes you magic, but a genie lamp you could have anything. But you only get three wishes. I could even wish for fairy dust. But you still only get three wishes. Unless I wish for more but wishes. You Plus, can't. That's which cool. kind of genies are you getting? Are you getting like Disney's Aladdin genie, or you know the real ones? Yeah, that which are you? Cool. <laughs> and with fairy dust, you can even use it to get people to think that it's actually drugs, and then they'll inhale it, and then it'll kill them. So specifically, it's genie from Aladdin, the Disney movie. <laughs> but he has eight. That guy. That guy would be great to have on a mission. I don't know. Not if my life is on the line. Look at how yeah. much trouble he got Aladdin out of. But he also has into in into. He has ADD. <laughs> like if you're about to die, he's gonna be like over there playing with. But something. I die laughing. I'm like, all right, genie, here's your cyanide pill. Ready? Are you ready, punk? Oh, Fairy genie. dust is still so much more useful. Dead. Because it can do lots of things. Okay, thumbs up for the new one. Thumbs down for the old one. One, two, three. Welcome to Well Played, where my friends hate me. <laughs> Alright. Everybody take your respective cards back. That's like the only scenario that I can play rubber chicken in successfully. Well, the rubber chicken also has an ability where you can actually just yeah, but put it into some... Very or is it you discard it? You exchange it with a random card from a player's yeah. hand. And so you can play just that card. But I have give to the rubber play chicken that card. Yeah. Like, whatever I draw, I have to play yeah. it. So I'm not that's much better. Yeah, it might have been like... <laughs> I was playing this. That doesn't necessarily work. That's right, I did this thing. Global race. We must travel land, sea, and air to win a race around the world. Well. We need to travel in the slowest race possible in a hot air balloon. Okay. <laughs> uh, you know what else we need? Uh, sports cars. It's a global <laughs> race. It'll, yeah. it'll make up for the hot air balloon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
It's Whoa. like some kind of weird decathlon. <laughs> First we take a 10 mile hot air balloon trip, then a 120 mile sports car race. And, you know, to make sure we cover the sea, we're going to need some aircraft carriers. Yeah. The hot air balloon could land now on we, it. Now we're G.I. Joe. <laughs> Over land, sea, and air. And because we're going to have new places to stay, plus buy lots of other things, we need a ton of gold. I mean, maybe that's what we're racing for. First one to the gold. Or we can just use it to buy stuff and buy off the other people. Of course, just be aware, this might what cause the nuclear... <laughs> the nuclear fog, fog. Have a nuclear po uh, powered... Racing aircraft carriers. <laughs> what you gotta do is distribute some of the gold to the other players yeah. so it weighs them down. Exactly. <laughs> Using it and, and then we also use it to buy better stuff. Yeah. Like more race car fuel because yeah. our hot air balloon didn't go very fast. Yeah. You're gonna replace or, it. Or, or fix up the hot air balloon so that it actually, like, you just put a rocket... Jet, you just put a rocket jet on it, and then it's like... <laughs> jet powered hot Yeah, it's a jet powered hot air balloon. <laughs> <laughs> and so you could modify it. Yeah. I think, I think I'm good. You gonna pass? Yeah, I don't think my Okay, um, having seen what can happen in uh, things like the Boston Marathon and things like that, I think it's a good idea to have an ambulance on hand instead of a hot air balloon. How do we travel through air then? This well, air. Yeah, we, we have to. Instead of a ton of gold. <laughs> but again, how are we going to pay for all the stuff we need? In the hospital. We already have all the stuff we need in this situation. No, we don't have any fuel. <laughs> Except for on that. This doesn't necessarily my, my say that you with only hot have air what you or in light air okay. gas if you're We don't choice. have any fuel for that. Yeah, but it's a fast and sexy sports car. That will go about a hundred. I'm not going to replace my own card with my own car. <laughs> I'm not saying that. I'm just saying. <laughs> you just have, have it. If we have an ambulance, we're not going to get very far with two things that only go about 300 miles and then run out of fuel. Okay, so when the aircraft and carrier go, sinks, and that's not go that far, when the sports car needs. crashes, and when the balloon comes plummeting from the earth, I will remember to wrap your wounds in a ton of gold. <laughs> we can also use that to buy a crap ton of stuff and get us to... We can just use that to hire an ambulance for ourselves. We don't actually need an ambulance. Gold buys everything. Thumbs up for new one, thumbs down for old one. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> He's right, you can buy, you just buy an ambulance. You have an ambulance service with gold. You can gold. like purchase getting airlifted out of there. <laughs> nope. I already passed. You already passed? Yes. Alright, fine then. Instead of a hot air balloon, we need a box of cats. It's the box of cats. Any cats you can imagine, any box you can dream up. How are we going to travel by air? We don't need to travel by air. It's yes, not a we world do. race. We must travel land, sea, and air to win the race around the world. <laughs> well, well. Yes. How do we travel by air with a box of cats? Any cats you can imagine, winged cats. Think about it. It's like a peg of corn. Have you seen cats? You really think they're gonna help us? <laughs> it's like it's like being you on really a giant think cowboy. The cats are gonna help us. They could. They could. I'm just saying. One, two, three. <laughs> you know, I just why do I even play this game? <laughs> You're missing the point of this game entirely. It's supposed to be silly. <laughs> Everybody's so serious. We need to travel lands with a box of cats. We, we established pretty early on we're a bunch of Taiwans. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fair. But you right. keep the box of cats. Here, it keeps his cards and spreads his pockets. Right? <laughs> I didn't want the box of cats. Not useful to me. Well, it depends. Alright. The situation, our lives, as they could be. Box of Cats is back. Other than it says player keeps this card if it somehow fails. <laughs> I think that's pretty obvious how it somehow fails. Um, you know, for those moments where everybody's just annoying you, what we need is duct tape. Specifically, it shows packaging tape. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or 
blood as they could be. Now I'm just uh, singing Bare Naked Ladies if I had a million dollars in my head. I mean, also for those days when people are, are getting really annoying and, or like on campus, when shit's happening and no one's doing what you want them to do and you just want to destroy shit. It's heavy equipment. <laughs> I love that our lives as they could be has become when people annoy me. <laughs> you guys are just trying to like still looking for a way out. This is why the this is why the people on the voice nuclear kept... war and we had to leave again. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with RV because then we can just have a recreational vehicle and we can all just travel around with our cats. If, and if anything breaks, we could just duct tape I'm it inside the RV and it'll be good. So <laughs> yeah, just kick around in that. Yeah, just travel. Um, I'm happy. Box of cats, RV, duct tape, heavy equipment. Yeah. Good with me. I'm fine. Sure. Alright, that's a simple round. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody draw back up. And you are the situation reader, sir. Hobbies. We must help the reader pursue his or her favorite hobbies or interests. The reader will briefly share their favorite interests if needed. Well, we're already doing it. What? <laughs> Playing games. <laughs> Playing games. Uh, comics, games. Hmm. So what are your games. favorite hobbies and interests? Okay, so starting with you, sir. Well, you can't have, you know, video games without giant robots. Mm. Yes, very true. Also popular in a lot of movies yeah. and anime. Yeah. Which or, also I also like. Or teleporters that sometimes may or may not work. Like this one that depends on the day's date. So, well, what, it, what it's saying is... Today. Yeah, like uh, today you can only go a mile, but tomorrow yeah. you can go a thousand miles. <laughs> and then next week you can go the world. And in two weeks you can go to the planets. So I have to wait two weeks to be Star Trek? Yeah. <laughs> But that's like a video game, because sometimes video games are like, nope, you're not going to have this And work. then in the last couple days of the month, you can go to new star systems. Yeah. <laughs> Problem is, you'd be stuck there for a month. Yeah. yeah. It's like video game levels. You have to work up to get these lo unlockable things. <laughs> it's <laughs> like video game levels. At least you only have to wait two weeks to go to other planets, because I can give you four weeks food supply, so you don't have to work or do anything. You can focus on your video gaming, and then... With your giant the, robot. <laughs> by the time you teleport to a different planet, I'm sure they have, like, capsule food stuff like that. Fine. So, uh, when you teleport with your giant robot full of canned food, uh, just in case there are hostile locals that heard about what Earth does when they come to other planets, you're going to want a deflector shield on that robot. Yeah, they probably don't want this. No. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> After watching this video, they'll be like, they're going to nuke us. <laughs> not replacing anything? I'm good. Yeah, take me here. I've got two that go really well together, but none of them would be your interest, so I'm going to pass two. <laughs> I just looked up with the teleporter. It was like, it depends on the day's date. I was like, look, it's video game levels. <laughs> Situation, third world. Help a third world assignment. Help a third world nation become self-sufficient. Um, well, none of these work with that, but we're just going to go crazy here. So, because once they become self-sufficient, everybody likes to, you know, become proper and all that. So, we uh, show them, you know, how to become proper and we give them all horse and carriages. Because <laughs> that, that makes them first, you know nice and prim, and so they, they want to take care of their horses and carriages and, and look good, so they, they start to do more things. You know, I'm reminded of a story in the news not too long ago when they gave a foreign dignitary a camel as a gift thanking him for coming to visit, and since he couldn't take the camel back home with him, he left it with a family for safekeeping. They ate his camel a week later. It was like two days. 
Yeah. Yeah. So what happens if you give them a horse and carriage? They're probably going to eat the horse. But then they have a carriage. They can burn live the in. carriage. Yeah. No, they can live in the carriage. You Which destroy the carriage to make a pyre to cook your horse. <laughs> For you helping them it's travel. Their first mobile home. It's be with solar, solar powered horse. cars. Solar powered cars. There you go. That's the future. Because that way they don't have to worry about fuel. They don't have to worry about feeding the animal or keeping the animal alive or any vet bills or anything like that or <laughs> killing the animal. They sound a problem. Where we're going, drive. we don't need roads. It, it is a cutting edge <laughs> solar powered automobile, and it's got like four wheel yes. drive. <laughs> Wait, what? It's mine is. I, it's a Back to the Future reference. Where we're going, Marty, we don't need roads. <laughs> <laughs> Can I help him out with some solar power? Uh, so. Uh, it works for aliens. Might work for third world countries. Just bring a neutron bomb. You just want to bomb everything. How is that everything. helping him because of the crowd? It's like kill to be an world. American. <laughs> and also, a neutron bomb would kill everyone. <laughs> a neutron bomb would just destroy Earth. But we'd have solar-powered cars. No, we wouldn't have anything. You see, my contribution to the third world is yeah. There's it's nice that they have horse and carriages and solar-powered cars. But what are they going to do if they break down somewhere in the middle of nowhere? So we're, they're going to need flare guns to let everybody know, hey, we're over here. <laughs> Get us out of this podunk country. <laughs> well, just because I don't want this in my head anymore. I think instead of a neutron bomb, because so we don't all fucking die, and because some third worlds are in really freaking cold weather, they need snowsuits. Like That'll definitely heat things up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, fucking incinerator. I just brought an, a heater. No, you brought an incinerator. Yeah. That kills them. This doesn't kill them. This keeps them warm and lets All right, them work look, in the snow. That there are parts of this them. world where sometimes they just need to be paved over. How do you do that? Blow it away, let's start over. Etch a sketch. That kills the, the everything. Entire world. That blows the world up. No. A weapon that destroys all nearby life, but leaves buildings and machines intact. That's not how a neutron bomb works. That's I mean, apparently it's That's how neutron this one works, works, specifically. Hey, I'm not the one who's playing card specifics here. Last okay. time we had to have a race where we but had to have land, sea, and air, so what did I do? <laughs> so apparently they don't understand science. Because that's not how a neutron bomb works. They don't understand how, what neutrinos are. I'm, so not saying all that, I'm not life. saying that's how they do that. I'm just saying they don't understand how science Thumbs works. down for the old one, thumbs up for the new one. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> old one stays. Yeah. I'm just saying they don't understand You're how science works. You're not helping them if you kill them. That is not making Yeah. I don't care. Jesus, people. They also don't understand how science works. What if it is a yeah. third world country run by a dictator? How do we make them self-sufficient? Self self Killing them does not make them self-sufficient. Nuke the dictator! And all the people? The ones that... Look, it worked well for Japan. They weren't run by a dictator. But it worked out well for them in the end. It didn't work out well for them, now. And it actually that didn't. Wasn't well. There's a lot of people that have cancer now. Well... It worked out Thank well you again, us. Sony, for yeah. your contributions, like our camera, <laughs> to this society. Sorry that the whole and you know, actually thing Sony didn't work out around, well for you guys. And actually, so, Sony was around before World War II. Well, since the horse and carriage won't work, so we'll probably just eat the horses. We should probably work on a water purifier. Yeah. They can yeah. purify thousands of gallons of water. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. They, they need that shit. Yeah. So, uh, when the neutron bomb goes off, uh, probably more important than flare guns would be radiation suits. Just so we ourselves don't get hurt. And then uh, we can give it to the important Radiation suits people. don't work with neutrinos. So we can go to the land and then no, repopulate. No, neutrinos don't work with, ra with radiation suits. Neutrinos, yeah, neutrinos not, go through not radiation not. suits. So anyway... <laughs> yeah. I'm just trying to get rid of the cards in my hand because I'd like. Well, we are, cards. however, going to need because apparently. Wait a minute! You're the you're the story reader, aren't oh. you? No, I was so... the story reader. I thought it was. Oh, you are. Too. Okay. So, yeah. 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 No, I just I I was trying okay. to figure out if this was the last round or not. But it is. Dang it! Is it a you know neutron bombs that scare everybody? Since we got solar powered. Oh, no, because I just. Okay. Um, why don't we have bicycles? You know. Just in case they can't really get the solar powered cars to work, or people who don't know how to drive, at least they have a, a, a second way of moving around. Them. 
I bring to them self-sustaining energy. <laughs> and for yeah. a split second. Until they die. <laughs> self-sustained energy source. Everything up until the point they're fried to a crisp is fun. A bicycle's only fun in the summer. <laughs> Just saying. You're trying to blow You're up! You're killing people! Okay, I'm sorry, so it's fine if it's an alien planet, but not in a third world? Bunch of racists? I didn't say it was fine in the I alien planet fine. either. We just didn't have anything to get rid of it. And we also made Mad Max. Yeah, it was Mad Max, so... Well, it comes back around to you next. No. Here no. Yeah. No. All right, fine then. More important than a flare gun is a mobile lab, because chances are there's going to be diseases and things that we will need to fix. Mm. I finally, have <laughs> one card. I agree with you. Thank yeah, Christ. Mobile labs, good vaccinations and things. <laughs> And I'm passing, so... Okay. <laughs> and this is the final round, because... Yes. Yeah. This is the final round. So this is... Winner take all. Oh, boy. And the situation is... You should have saved the neutron. Oh, I've got backups. <laughs> <laughs> Extraterrestrials. Extraterrestrials are secretly infiltrating the human race. Whatever they're up to, the fate of humanity is all in hands. No, I've got plenty. I keep getting all the war cards. <laughs> I'm not crazy about war. In fact, I detest it. But when all I get are war cards... <laughs> so kill everything. You're first there. Am I? Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, we don't really know what they're up to, and we want to have a diverse set of special skills. So what we need is magic spells. I'm a wizard now. <laughs> yeah. Gotta defend ourselves. Yep. Diverse situations, blink of an eye. Machine guns. That's it. <clears throat> How do you solve an alien insurgency? <laughs> Lock and load. Have you seen any invasion movies that don't work against it? Uh, we might Halo. not know what the ETs are, but we know what they're flying. <laughs> <laughs> flying saucer. You get a hold of one. Welcome to Earth. <laughs> now we fly their own saucer <laughs> back at them. <laughs> And we can catch them in steel cages. <laughs> steel cages. Or, you know, have a death match in it. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> For the ones that survive, we now put them on wrestling. <laughs> yeah. It, it's either we catch them in it or we use it as entertainment. Yeah, I could see the, the guy from the WWE. Vince <laughs> <laughs> McMahon yeah, just yeah. like, Tonight only, we're going to have The Rock versus E.T. Ouch. <laughs> More than flying saucers, I think the best thing that we can have is a terraformer that can transform previously uninhabitable continents or planets into habitable land. So when they yes. do nuke that third world country with their neutrino bomb, bunch of bastards, we can terraform it back into a suitable new life. Yeah. No. <laughs> Solving last problem and this one. And that way when, you know, everything's eradicated and everything's destroyed because of, you know, alien battles and whatever my magic spells conjure up, we can have a habitable planet to live on now. Well, Terraformer's nice and everything, but, you know, we need the flying saucer to at least get the hell off this planet. If you can fly it. <laughs> we have Will Smith. We have Will Smith. <laughs> hey, everybody knows he when the aliens come, Will Smith is the war. first one to go. <laughs> they've seen they've seen Independence Day as well. They're like, we got to Actually, I'm pretty, sure any, in black. I'm pretty sure any of us can fly it. They've seen Men in Black and... And any Independence Day, and they go, the first one we must kill is Will Smith. <laughs> but the terraformer solves the problem you even have to leave. Um, There's still aliens on the planet. Not if we kill them thumbs all. Up thumbs up for new one, thumbs down for old one. Three, two, one. Oh. I want a spaceship. <laughs> I want to fly a flying saucer. That'd be awesome. I'm but do you know what we need more than a steel cage? Because think about this for a second. Okay, you say guns never work. But I've also played a number of Halo games. And if you give someone a gun and some body armor, they can destroy the entire Covenant fleet with one person. Master Chief. I rest my case. 
Except we don't have anyone like Master Chief now, and also... That's what the body armor and guns is for. Except that the guns used in Halo are not machine guns. Yeah, they are. Now. No, they're... The bullets There's... and things are much different. No. No, sir. Actually, they are, because they're, fut- they're several hundred years in the future. Sir, I'm not going to argue the logistics of this, but they Plus, are machine guns. Steel, ca- <laughs> steel cages are much more usable to set traps and things, to, because we don't actually know where they are. So you just Your be case shooting, has been made. You'd just be shooting random people at that point. Thumbs up for new one, thumbs down for old one, one, two, three. I want to be Master Chief. They could escape from the cages. Yeah, it's not necessarily. What if they're really tiny aliens? You or, make really tiny cages. And then you're also just going to be shooting random people. Yeah, I'm doing that. Well, instead of machine guns, we're going to need fighter jets. Because, I mean... Are, if, are we seriously going Independence Day here? Except for the magic, we got fighter jets going after flying it's saucers. It's probably the case the machine guns don't work. And then yeah. I, I can make his machine guns magical, I can just... And you can also make the fighter jets magical. Yeah, you just enchant some stuff. But, I mean, so depending on how big these aliens are... I'd be interested in that. Machine guns, flying, flying, machine guns aren't even, and... bullets aren't even going to break their, potentially can't even break their skin, but, and if you're going to have to go after the mothership and other ships at some point, which means well, you need Oh, that's what you use the flying saucer for. But, true. But, but if we only have day. one of those, but you Independence Day, right, but we only have one. Independence Day, we still <laughs> needed the fighter jets to bring down the other ships. Yeah, they, they, they had, had to wait going into the... Yeah, plane. they had to use fighter jets to bring down all the other ships. After they destroyed the mothership, so you I'll still need fighter jets. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna defend <laughs> it. Point. Plus, <laughs> jets have machine guns. On them. Yeah. <laughs> I, I think I already passed with my cards. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, just because, why not? It's my last chance. You know, we need more than magic spells, miracle drugs. We just make the aliens believe that they don't want to fight us with these miracle drugs. Because you, you may experience cool. alternate realities. So we just tell them, like, hey, we're really cool and we're friends now, after drugging them. And they're like, they are really cool. And we are friends. We should go home. It's only going to last. Them, and then this is, just, this is just plan B. In case the drugs don't work. But then what if the fighter jets don't work and they don't, like, pierce your skin and stuff and I can't enchant them anymore because you fucking... They're no longer magic fighter jets. <laughs> <laughs> you just have lame-ass fighter jets. Well, then we have brooms. We'll fly to a new planet and start a Quidditch. Not without planet. magic. We got flying socks here. But you can't use flying brooms and start Quidditch without magic. It could also help ease the pain of anyone that's injured. I hope the drugs kill you. Kill you. <laughs> <laughs> You could experience an alternate reality in which the aliens are no longer there, so you can die I hope the drugs kill me. <laughs> thumbs up for the new one, thumbs down for the old one. I'm sorry, I just want magic. It was the last, yeah. re- it was the last <laughs> round anyway. I'm now out of cards. I already passed. I have one more, but I'm, because I might as well. Don't you take my magic from me. It's that final play. <laughs> no, he's going to take the body armor from me. Yeah. Yeah. But, because... If everything else fails, we need an interworld portal. Just leave. <laughs> so when we take it, it's yours. But we can find another one like Stargate. Stargate out of here. We can Stargate out of here, and we can find a much better place to live, and make that habitable. Oh. And then they can't follow us. That's true. I can probably find some protection spells. I yeah. Guess. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, all of it good is a giant diamond. <laughs> so I lose. I have flashlights and parachutes. That's really gonna help us against. <laughs> I know. In case parachute. the jets go down, <laughs> need a parachute. Well, he didn't play the jet till after I passed. Oh yeah. And there are parachutes in jets. They come with them. Eight. Eight. Uh, you win. Yeah, I got nine. Five. No. You guys both win. <laughs> I have six. So I lost by quite a margin. You wanted to destroy everything. That's all the card. I kept getting war cards. In my defense. I played a fucking rubber chicken and still got it. All right. On a spy mission. I was getting nothing but I was going to say, I played cards. very dusty. <laughs> I get, like, but the ones that require good weapon cards, I didn't get any. 
It would be stuff like, I got ambulance. Well, well I had a ton of gold for a freaking racing thing. And I kept trying to replace it and everybody overruled me. Because you could buy an ambulance with a ton of gold stuff. Yeah. Gold left over. It made a logical argument. That worked. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, that was Box of Cats. <laughs> Uh, sometimes I forget we're filming these things. Um, welcome into a, a deep view of our psyche. Uh, so, what did you guys like about the game? We got to make a ridiculous crap. And we made a Mad Max world. Yeah. <laughs> and, and an Independence the Day one world. Time, With the, Stargate. Independence Day and Stargate. The one time that my, my nuclear theory actually went through, you guys allowed it. <laughs> it's just because it made Mad Max. <laughs> then it's okay. Well, yeah. See, see kids, <laughs> if, if you're gonna blow up the world, at least try to make it Mad Max. <laughs> More other movie references. Try to make it entertaining. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, if you're gonna kill off a bunch of third world people, what didn't you like worked. about the game? Huh? What didn't you like about the game? I Getting guess. overruled every round. <laughs> You need to make better logical arguments. I, I need you to get better cards. You just gotta make good choices. I think, yeah, the, the, the cards can be... Sometimes yeah, sometimes it's just you a just bad get draw. Spent. Yeah, you just get screwed. Like, with the, the third like, world thing, I had nothing that went with it. I held parachutes since the beginning of the game. Is you know, there a way to, like, like, discard your hand and just draw a new hand? Yeah, that's kind of lame. There are, I'm sure there's a number of house rules you can come up with. And there is also <laughs> the Box of Cats expansion available, so that might add more possible. Yeah. I wish there was a way to like dump your hand if you really just had a yeah. dumpy hand and just like miss like out instead of passing hand. you just yeah yeah you just instead of playing you just dump yeah because like that third little one I had they literally had nothing yeah um what was your yeah, favorite you moment of the yeah <laughs> like that was my best card we made a Mad Max world didn't we already go through this <laughs> and then Independence Day yeah you gotta play magic spells and rubber chicken <laughs> you got magic fighter jets <laughs> and a murderous rubber chicken. <laughs> uh, that was probably my favorite moment. Dust. Was that was the chicken going on wire? <laughs> you joke about or entertain small children. You got a variety on your. Works belt. like a zip line. I like the rubber chicken because it reminded me of naked. Uh, naked uh, <laughs> naked, naked gun. Yeah. <laughs> um, would you recommend this game to a friend? Yeah, yeah. It's a pretty fun one. And uh, would you buy this game? I believe it retails at nineteen ninety nine. Yep, yeah. I think probably. On Amazon. But yeah, so uh, that was Box of Cats. Uh, for more information, you can uh, check out our episode of uh, the other show. Uh, thank you. I'm biased on boxing. <laughs> Forgot the name of our own show because I'm a professional. Uh, you can check out our episode of Unbiased Unboxing with links in the description. Or you can click here. But the links never work. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's that. Uh, if you are joining us from Unbiased Unboxing, thank you. Um, if not, go watch it and you can see how to play this game and uh, other fun stuff like where to find it and things like that. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. So there you have it. That was Box of Cats. You got to hear what our gamers liked and maybe didn't like. And while I guarantee that your playthrough may not play out exactly like this one, at least you saw the game well played. Until next time, I'm Trevor, and I've got a box of cats. Let's see it. Hi, today on Well Played, we're going to be playing a box of cats! Yay! <laughs> it was like, get me the fuck out, get out. I'm out. And it's over. <laughs>